In today's hotel review, we explore an old favourite, Moxie, which is part of the Marriott Hotels, tantalising on the eyes, tasty food and a quiet, cosy and warm night stay in the family room. Moxley can be found in the southwest of the city centre and is very convenient if you're visiting the pavilions for a performance. If you're coming on foot from the main train station like we did, after exploring Devon, it takes about 20 minutes. The full details and the price we paid can all be found in the description below. What we love about Moxie is how quirky, fun and interesting the design of the hotel and the rooms can be. The content is slightly different from other properties because the reception of the bar area are one. Moxie also seems quite generous upon checking in. I was given an upgrade to a family room and given the spin of the wheel which would give bonus points or a free chockey. We'll return to the bar area later to try out the food. Being a Titanium Marriott member, I don't get a free breakfast but I do get a $10 credit which you can put towards food or drink. The family room ends the same principle as the standard room, with the addition of a dedicated air conditioning unit and a sofa lounge area which unfortunately doesn't have a TV. Lovely design, but the lounge is a little bit unusual in the sense that it's a triangular shape and design. So if you're wondering why the fish, the answer is because Plymouth is basically like the ocean city and that's hence the fish. So typically like the area for like storing your clothes, this, that, and the other, hair dry is normally in the bedroom, in the small rooms, but here it's in the lounge. And... So just need to bear in mind that because this is the accessible room, the layout might be slightly different. In general, I think that Moxie is a great brand and I really love it. It's so convenient. It's, it's clean, it's easy, and they have nice little touches. But can we turn that by you? You've also got a really good sized TV. Uh, obviously it's slightly further away in the upgraded room. If you really like watching TV, you might choose the smaller standard room because you'll be closer. All Marriott's hotel rooms come standard with a kettle, tea, coffee, milk and sugar. The other great thing is they always have plenty of plugs. You've got USB, UK plug, and even a Euro adapter, which is really handy if you're from the continent. Typically, Moxie rooms come with a shower, which has a glass slide door. Being the accessible room, there was a shower curtain which is very clever in the sense that it goes around an L-shaped curtain rail. The next day. For a budget chain, they're also quite generous because most budget chains will always have body and hair wash, but in addition, Moxie provides you with conditioner. And this chair, this moon bag in the corner looks pretty comfortable. Um, just want to point out the staff downstairs, really nice, really good interaction. They seem really genuine and they really seem to like working here. So they're made for a really good start. As for the view, this is Plymouth, not Saint-Tropez, but that's not why we're here in the first place. Why did I have to break it up? So when I checked in, I selected the $10 coupon as a voucher. So let's go try some food. As it's in dollars, with Merit being American, this counts to about seven to eight pounds off your bill. Everything didn't quite go to plan, as I'll explain towards the end of the video. Every moxie is different, so while there are fish cakes on the menu, my eyes were drawn to the Asian dishes. I do the things that I should do. In keeping with the trendy bar theme, there's a really extensive list of drinks, both alcoholic and not. Now I'm going to try the Sri Lankan chicken curry. The presentation may not look amazing, but besides burning my tongue, this was an incredible and delicious and filling meal. After the meal, it's back to the room to sleep, and the conclusion where I explain where things went wrong. So as you know, I'm a big fan of Moxie. I really love the brand because it's cosy. It's usually a really good price. Um, some of them slightly further out of the city, but that's where you get those reasonable prices. Everything was really good, except for the bar situation last night. It got a little bit chaotic and it went from quiet to chaotic really quickly. So I ordered the Singapore chicken. Um, really looking forward to it. Unfortunately, over half an hour had gone past and I suddenly started wondering, well, is it gonna come? Anyway, went up to the desk to ask, they were still busily serving people with drinks. I saw a meal in the corner. Anyway, it turned out that was my meal and unfortunately it had gone cold, so I had to reorder. Big thank you to Bertie though, because he pushed mine up right to the top as being the next meal out and it was worth the wait. Anyway, thank you so much for watching the video. Um, if you've enjoyed it, please subscribe and like below. I can't forget, but you're